Power Public here, and today we're going to be filming a reptile room tour for November 2017. I'm so sorry we didn't have one for October, uh, but due to technical difficulties, I just could not get it out in time, and it was not the best video anyways. Uh, but instead of being lazy and using the video I filmed last month for this month's tour, we are going to be refilming the entire thing um, for you guys. Also, I did get, um, I think, a couple new animals um, since last Reptile Room Tour. I unfortunately lost two animals. The animals that died are my tarantula, sadly. Uh, Harry did pass away earlier today, actually. I also lost my millipede named... Warren, uh, but he died, um, I don't know why, I think it was just of old age. Without any further ado, let's get on with the reptile room. So the first animal I'm going to show you guys today is my blue tongue skink named Blue. He's easily one of my favorite animals and he has tamed down so much since I've um, been holding him a lot more. Uh, I believe he is an Irian Jaya blue tongue skink. I've heard some people tell me he's Indonesian and stuff, but honestly, I see him in person and he's an Irian Jaya. Uh, so he is beautiful. His name is Blue. He's getting a little hissy, uh, but that's just because he probably wants to go to sleep. Uh, he is beautiful. I got him in February of 2017 this year, and right now he is living in this 40 gallon tank with Eco Earth. I switched him to Eco Earth, um, and it's holding humidity a lot better, and he loves it. So yeah, this is Blue, my blue tongue skink. Let's move on to the next animal. So the next animal I'm going to be talking about today is to the right of Blue and that is my white tree frog. Now this is one of my two tree frogs and he's easily my favorite due to his really nice personality and he's his love to eat. See, this cage is not what it was at all in the last video. Last time his cage was all the way down there, which is now where my rosy boa is. Uh, so now, I, last room I didn't even show you his cage because it was, there was nothing to show. Um, but in here it has eco earth with a drainage layer right there. Uh, some cork, a stick, tons of moss on the bottom, and a bunch of pothos. And he's definitely enjoying it a lot more. So yeah, let's move on to the next animal. Okay guys, so the next animal is directly to the right of Trevor. And this is my other tree frog. Now this is a green tree frog. I said that I like Trevor more, and I definitely do. This guy loves to jump, but you know what? Him and Trevor are almost tied. The thing I like about Trevor is just he can sit there. Now this is not about Trevor, this is about Kermit, which is my green tree frog. And let's go ahead and move on to the next animal. Okay guys, next up are my poison dart frogs. Yeah, I do have a lot of frogs, so don't judge, I love them. So these are my two Dundrabates tinctorius azureus or cobalt blue dying dart frogs. Um, now their names are Popcorn and Spot, it's a male and female pair. Okay guys, I did get a shot. This is um, Popcorn, which is my female poison dart frog, but they're just an awesome, pleasure to work with and yeah those are my poison dart frogs okay guys this is one of my two leopard geckos and this was my very first leopard gecko i ever owned i've owned three in the past and one of them passed away years ago um, but this is my super hypo giant leopard gecko he's a very big leopard gecko and that's because he is a giant now giant is basically just a bloodline of leopard geckos that gets a few inches bigger than most leopard geckos so let's go ahead and move on to my next leopard gecko Okay guys, so this is my other leopard gecko. This is just a normal leopard gecko, uh, but he does have quite a bit of spots. His name is Preston. He was my second leopard gecko I ever got. And you know what, he, oh! He likes to bite sometimes when I stick my, he just doesn't like me poking him in the face, but, and he is a awesome leopard gecko. Okay guys, so next up is my Sonoran Desert Centipede, uh, which is venomous, that's what I'm gonna be handling with these. Scolopendra polymorpha is the Latin name. And he is in this Critter Keeper, which is pretty nice to set up. And, you know, I'm going to try to find him for the camera, and I should be able to. So, let me find him for you guys. So, this is my Sonoran Desert Centipede. He is really cool. Uh, I actually took a name suggestion from you guys, and his name is Cinnamon. And he just jumped oh. off my tongs. Centipedes. <laughs> uh, so, this is my Pac-Man Frog. His name is Six Pack. He's just a normal, ornate Pac-Man Frog. And, by normal, I mean... He's normal pattern and mutation, and he's also normal in the fact that he will eat anything and everything that comes near his mouth, including my fingers. Uh, but he is really, really pretty. 
than the next animal. Okay guys, so this is my great my great plains toad named Butch. And even though it seems like he's not that calm, which he really isn't, he's calmed down a ton since I got him at the Repticon show in um, Grapevine, Texas. And he is a cute little toad, does what most do, sit, sit around, sit in the water, pee, poop, and eat a lot. <laughs> but he is an awesome little toad. I really wanted to get back into toads. In the olden days, which was really just like five or six years ago, all I used to keep was a Knolls, Texas spiny lizards, and toads. Uh, and I'm so excited to be getting back into the toad hobby because I really love him. And yeah, this is Butch, my great plains toad. So this is my rough earth snake named Duncan. This is my, one of my smallest snakes. It's my personal smallest snake. Uh, and I actually rescued him. I took him out of the wild, which I normally don't do. And he's trying to bite me even though he can't bite. Uh, because he was attacked by a dog or something. And he had some cuts and there's scars right now and he was bleeding and stuff. And I took him in and he is honestly doing really well. But yeah, this is Duncan, my rough earth snake. And yeah, he's really cool. Okay guys, so here is one of my favorite snakes. This is my rosy boa, my albino rosy boa named Belle. And she, if you know her, she's growing a lot. Um, rosy boas, they just feel a lot different than most snakes. They feel really smooth and stuff and they're just really cool. She is a very, very beautiful snake actually. Okay guys, so this is actually not my snake. This belongs to my sister. This is a western hognose snake named Sarah. Although she does stay in my reptile, and honestly, I do pretty much everything for her. We are extremely lucky with her. She has not thrown any hissy fits, and she eats right out of my hand pinky mice, frozen thawed pinky mice, which is, if you know anything about hognose snakes, you'll know that that's pretty rare. Um, one cool thing about western hognoses is, look at their belly, it's black, so pretty. And yeah, her name is Sarah. She's very small, but she is actually growing very, very well. And yeah, she's a girl, and that's Sarah, my sister's Western Hognose. Okay guys, so this is one of my favorite pets, and I'm gonna say that a ton in this video. But this is my lesser ball python that's a boy named Zach. Now, I used to have a ball python named Bella a very long time ago, and she had mites, and she ended up dying and giving mites to my whole collection. Quarantine your new animals, if you don't know they're mite free. But she, or he, I'm sorry, Zach, is a darling. It's a very, he's a very nice ball python. One thing I like about him is he does not just stay in a ball when I get him out. He loves to move around, and that makes me so, so happy. And he is very nice, and he, man, he is growing a lot. Um, he's not big, but he is definitely getting a lot bigger since uh, last reptile tour. But yeah, this is Zach, my lesser ball python. Oh man, okay guys, I just realized the snake is actually in deep shed, man. So this is my albino California king snake. Uh, she might bite me because she's not very happy right now. Uh, his is actually a boy. His name is Corn Maze. Please don't think it's a corn snake, it's an albino California king snake. Uh, this is actually the first snake and second reptile I ever, ever owned. Uh, but he is a very beautiful snake. Normally his colors are a lot brighter, uh, but Look at his eyes. They are very, very cloudy, which means that he is about to shed. But yeah, this is Corn Maze, my albino California king snake. Okay guys, so this is the last snake in this video. And this is my al This is my snow corn snake named Zarita. She is just as old as me. She's 12 years old. Don't slap me with your tail. Uh, and she is super nice. You might be wondering why she's so small, and that's because she is actually a rescue. I got her last year, and um, she was kept in a five gallon enclosure where they couldn't even fit a hide and a water bowl. And she also was only fed one to two times a month. That's why she's such a small corn snake, but now she has a nice big cage and she gets fed every single week. And she's doing very well. And this is Zorita. Zorita, whatever you want to call her, my 12 year old snow corn snake. Okay guys, so this is, I think the second time you've seen my new baby little girl veiled chameleon named Beans, and she's not very happy right now, I just got her out. Uh, so this is Beans, my female veiled chameleon. I do have a boy named Durango, which you guys are gonna see next, but she is a really, really cool little veiled chameleon. Now I did get her from somebody that did not want her anymore, but she's doing really great right now, eating a lot and just living life to the fullest. 
But yeah, this is my little baby veiled chameleon named Bean. So this is my other veiled chameleon I was talking about named Rango. Now this is a boy. The really easy way to tell boys apart from girls is boys do have a little bit of a spur on the back of both of their hind legs. And you can t see that pretty much right when they hatch. So that's a really great easy way to tell if it's a boy or girl. Now Rango is an amazing, super healthy veiled chameleon. He's a great example of what a veiled chameleon should be like. And he is very, very nice actually, surprisingly. Uh, he does get a little bit territorial when I stick my hand in there. Occasionally he'll hiss at me. Usually he'll just puff up. And yeah, this is Rango my male veiled chameleon. Okay guys, so this is the last animal in this room and then we're gonna move on to the last few animals I have scattered around the house. Now this is an animal I'm just completely, completely comfortable holding and this is a very uh, angry looking animal. This is my Asian forest scorpion, Heteromitris spinifer, um, and I'm losing my voice because I've been talking a lot, uh, but he is a great example of an Asian forest scorpion. Uh, he might get a little bit bigger, but he's full grown for the most part. And his name is Fluffy, which is pretty ironic, but he's really cool. Um, and I have a black light with me right here. So whenever you shine a black light on them, they look absolutely amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the lights really quick. And you guys are going to be able to see that phenomenon. Scorpions, um, they just glow green like that under a black light. And that is truly amazing. So let's move on to the next animals. My bad, we actually do have one more animal in this room, and this is Splickety Lick, which is my two and a half year old African sulcata tortoise. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, she's in for the winter, but she's not that exciting right now because she's inside. Okay, guys, so we're actually looking out a window right now, and Speedy, which is my big African sulcata tortoise, has a gigantic area out here. You can't see it very well, but if you want to see it, go back in my last reptile room before, which is on the screen somewhere right now. But he is currently inside of his little heat hut area which is a dog house with a heat pad he <clears throat> is getting massive he is just a little bit under 20 pounds i'd say about 17 pounds right now and he, there's a heat pad in here and he is in here right now just to stay pretty warm and yeah that is speedy and he's one of my favorite animals i own he is five years old okay guys this is my red-eared slider turtle named oliver we just call him ollie though for short He's pretty cool. He's in this 75 gallon tank right now. We have plans to be moving him to an outdoor enclosure though, uh, coming up, and he's pretty cool. And yeah, that's Ollie, our red eared slider. <laughs> oh, he does not like the camera. Okay guys, so this is sadly the last animal of the reptile room tour. Um, but this is Blaze, and he is my Halloween Harlequin Crested Gecko. Uh, Halloween is perfect uh, because Halloween's coming up soon. Actually, it's already passed by the time you're watching this video. But this is Blaze, my male Halloween Harlequin Crested Gecko. He is awesome. He is living in this 18 by 18 by 24 uh, National Geographic cage, and I built the background and made the vivarium. This is my first vivarium ever. It turned out pretty sick. Not gonna lie. Um, and I actually did add this plant, and it's looking looking pretty hot. But yeah, guys, uh, I'm gonna sadly have to end out the video here. I hope to see you guys all in the next video, next short term tour. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram. Screen, it's on the screen. My Instagram name at reptilepoetx. Also, follow my cameraman Justin. Come out here, Justin. He has been my cameraman for this whole video, and he has done a great job. Also, check out his reptile poet merch. We're not selling that, but it's pretty sick. So tell me down in the comments or hit the card on the screen right now and vote. And tell me if you like the merch or not, and if you want me to start selling it. Uh, that's old. We're not going to have that on the new merch if we sell it. But yeah, so that's going to be about it for today, guys. Remember to also follow him on Instagram. Um, his name should be on there right now. And yeah, I will see you guys all next time. Remember to like that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell if you want to get notified about every single new video on my channel. And yeah, I will see you all next time. Bye! From the good perspective. Okay, be quiet. Okay. Go and go and subscribe!